for you to have your first toe to be Jesse. That was a little bit on the, on the funny side because you know, I hadn't towed in 12 years and I just checked out like a couple of days before. So the Pawnee is a plane you have to fly. It's only got one seat. And it's, it's the one you see crop dusting all around that they, they use. Mm -hmm. It's a nice airplane to fly. you got a, a good motor on it. But uh, you do, you're, it's kind of like being a, a little bit like a test pilot because you you just got to go in there and fly it. You've never flown one of these before. <laughs> and you're up five or six feet higher than most other airplanes. And um, so I came in and I think, uh, who was your instructor there? I think it was Sami. He, he wanted yeah. to box the wake. And so the first thing, the, one of the things you usually don't do when you're uh, boxing the wake is when the glider's behind you and it moves off to, or it moves down to the side and then it proceeds to do a box around you. Well, if you're in the tow plane and you've got a, a glider like he was flying in the back there, you're literally, the, the, the plane is wanting to go all over the place, so as the glider's out over here, it's trying to turn the plane that way, so you've got full opposite stick and you're pushing down just to keep the plane from kind of stalling and going out of it. So the whole time that they're around there, it's like you feel real easy, you're going around doing that in the tow plane. It's just like I'm trying to do everything I can to keep the tow plane flying on a course and keep it from stalling and uh, keep it level. So <laughs> to come back, and that being my first thing that I had to do after 12 years of not doing anything. And I'd only flown like about maybe 20 or 30 at thick toes before that. Mm -hmm. So to, to come back and then, uh, oh, we're just going to box the wake. <laughs> I think we better make a toast to Andrew. Bring it on. Oh, no. Good work, Andrew. This, this is the guy that's done all the good work. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, his reputation in the club is, uh, is excellent. I think I'm only back. Great. Well, tell us more else. about the yep. reputation of the club. Well, he's just, he's, he's, he's what they uh, call a good stick. So he's, uh, he's a good That's pilot. Right. He's picked it up really quick. Um, did you want to fly before, or did you have a clue that you'd be this? Well, I mean, I, I didn't think I was much interested. I remember Chuck took me up once uh, when I was much younger, and I wasn't interested in touching this stick. and taking control then, but he took me up on, like, I think early September when they had a competition, and he let me take over, and, and I was able to thermal and, and bring us up above where we started, I think, and, and I really enjoyed it, and so it was either that or join the sailing club, and I've got sailing back at Raleigh, you know, the sailing team, and so I thought, why not try this, you know? Smart. <laughs> what do you say? 470s or uh, yeah, 420s. Oh, 420s. All right, nice. Uh, 
17 years ago, 74. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and in a way, very similar some kids to Soren. Right, right. And so, Ruben Owen, that did carry over some things. Well, it's three dimensions in it. You know, if you fall out of a sail, or a sailboat, you're not going to hurt yourself. If you fall out of a glider, that would be a little awkward. <laughs> 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 no, he's been 